Welcome to the RuneScape audiobook series, narrated by Divided Story. Today's quest, Cook's Assistant. Let's get started. Welcome to Lumbridge, where a lot of people find it home, and a lot of people find it the starting point of their journey through Gilinor. The adventurer of this story walks into the castle, eager to start his adventure, but he happens to hear weeping from the kitchen nearby. Going inside, he finds the Cook of Lumbridge, who has one dashing hat, a stylish apron, and pretty nice jazzy pants. After gathering his thoughts together, he approaches the crying cook. What am I to do? What am I to do? What's wrong? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm in a terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely birthday cake. I've forgotten to buy the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. What do I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Would you help me, please? Yes, yes, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I need milk and egg and flour. I'd be very grateful if you can get them for me. So where do I find these ingredients then? Where do I find some flour? There's a mill ferry close. Go north and then west. Mill Lane Mill is just off the road to Drainer. I usually get my flour from there. Talk to Millie. She'll help. She's a lovely girl and a fine miller. Make sure to take a pot with you for the flour though. There should be one on the table right there. How about milk? There is a cattle field on the other side of the river, just across from the road from Groats Farm. Talk to Gilly Groats. She looks after the dairy cows. She'll tell you everything you need to know about milking cows. You'll need an empty bucket for the milk itself. The general store just north of the castle will sell you one for a couple of coins. And eggs? Where are they found? I normally get my eggs from the Groats Farm on the other side of the river, but any chicken should lay eggs. Don't worry, you can count on me. I'll find those ingredients. Shortly after speaking with the cook, the adventurer sets out. They decide that they're first going to go to the mill to get some flour. Following the cook's direction, the adventurer stops at the nearby general store. Welcome to the Lumbridge General Store. How can we help you? I'm new in town and I was told that I could buy a bucket here. Is that true? Ah, yes. We have a bucket for sale. Only two GP. Perfect. Here you go. Thanks for your business. Come back anytime. After a short walk throughout Lumbridge, the adventurer approaches the mill. It's quite large in size. It's a little creaky and it's also missing a few bricks on the side of the building. After noticing this, the adventurer goes inside. The adventurer approaches a young woman with ponytails a nice looking dress, and an apron. Hello, adventurer. Welcome to Mill Lane Mill. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Miss Millicent Miller, the miller of Mill Lane Mill. Our family has been milling flour for generations. What is this place? This is Mill Lane Mill, millers of the finest flour in Gilinor. How do I mill flour? We take grain from the field nearby and mill it into flour. Making flour is pretty easy. First of all, you need to get some grain. You can pick some from the wheat fields. There is one just outside the mill, but there are many others scattered across Gilinor. Feel free to pick wheat from our field. There always seems to be plenty of wheat there. Then I bring my wheat here? Yes, or one of the other mills in Gilinor. They all work the same way. Just take your grain to the top floor of the mill, up two ladders, there are three floors including this one, and then place some grain into the hopper. Then you need to start the grinding process by pulling the hopper lever. You can add more grain, but each time you add grain, you have to pull the hopper lever again. And that's it. You now have some pots of finely ground flour of the highest quality, ideal for making tasty cakes or delicious bread. I'm not a cook, so you'll have to ask a cook to find out how to bake things. Great, thanks for the help. The adventurer then walks out of the mill, over to the wheat field nearby. Grabbing a little bit of wheat as directed, the adventurer then walks back over to the mill to complete the rest of the task. After completing the task and not wanting to leave their newfound friend, the adventurer sets out to go find some milk. As the adventurer is walking over to the farm nearby, the adventurer stops and notices the surroundings. It's quiet in Lumbridge. It's rather peaceful. The village is not very far away, and there's many people around to play. This is one great place to live. After crossing the northern bridge, the adventurer comes to another farm. This is where the cows lay, and where they play. And to his surprise, there's a little young woman out in the field with buckets of milk on her shoulders. Who are you? My name is Gilly Groats. My father is a farmer, and I milk the cows for him. Do you have any spare buckets of milk? I'm afraid not. We need all of our milk to sell to the market, but you can milk the cow yourself. Could you tell me how to milk a cow? It's very easy. First you need an empty bucket to hold the milk, then find a dairy cow to milk. You can't milk just any cow. 
How do I find a dairy cow? They are easy to spot. They are dark brown when white, unlike beef cows, which are light brown and white. We also tether them from a post to stop them from wandering around all over the place. There are a couple very near, in this field to be exact. Then just milk the cow and your bucket will fill with tasty, nutritious milk. Thanks for your help. It was a pleasure meeting you. Turning his attention away from the maiden, he finds the dairy cow, eager to start the process to find the milk that nourishes life. This is so demeaning, he said, after acquiring all the milk that he needed for the cake. Feeling accomplished after the cow, the adventurer looked westward, seeing the last farm that he had to go to to get eggs from the chickens there that lay. With a fresh egg in his satchel, the adventurer turned southward to head back to Lumbridge Castle. I have the ingredients for you. Here's a bucket of milk, here's a pot of flour, here's a fresh egg. You've brought me everything I need. I am saved. Thank you. So, do I get to go to the Duke's party? I'm afraid not. Only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. Well, maybe one day I'll be important enough to sit at the Duke's table. Maybe, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Thank you for listening to this RuneScape Quest audiobook. As always, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.